cosplay diver. Yeah, f glad you crew were able to come watch today. Um, yep. We're making. Thank you. Thank you for hosting me. Also, hey Sadie. Um, we're making chicken pot pie today. Um, probably should be called like chicken pot without the pie, because I don't put the crust on it. I just like to do it um, kind of like as a cracker or something, I guess you would say. But it's not like in a pie form. It's like a thick stew with pie crust crackers. So we're gonna start by breaking down a chicken and we're gonna make a quick chicken stock and roast our chicken pieces off for inside of our pie, or I shouldn't say that, inside of our stew. Okay, so we got a full chicken. <laughs> hey, mom, hello, hello, hello. All right, so we got a full chicken here. We're gonna start by cutting off the wing. So we're just taking this, we're gonna find the joint here, cut into it, and just take that off. We're gonna roast all of our bones for our stock. Peregrine, hello. Hello, hello, thanks for joining. Um, we're gonna have one pan here for our bones we're roasting and then the other pan for our meat that we will roast before we put in our um, stew. So let's do, let's do our bones on the big one. Actually, I should do my little trick and put a sheet tray under here. know that was your fave, Allie. Now I know, I'll have to make this sometime for you. All right, so I'm just putting a sheet tray under my cutting board so that all my like juices and stuff will fall onto it instead of my countertop. So same thing with this side. Just finding the joint and cutting our wing off. Pro tip, pro tip. Let's go for the legs. Separate the skin here. And then we're gonna take and pop the leg out of the socket and cut between that joint. Allie, I feel like you're probably not gonna like chicken pot pie after you see this, but it is what it is. Sorry. Sorry, gotta get this oyster out of here too. That's a good piece. All right, leg. <laughs> I thought you made them yourself, Allie. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we're just separating our skin here. Pop in the leg out of the socket. And we're just gonna cut where this joint tells us. Hello, Kim, thanks for joining. All right, and we'll debone these legs in a minute. There we go. Now for the breast, we're just gonna cut down the center here to either the right or left to start. I'll start with the left. All the way down. We're just bringing our knife against the ribs. We'll just cut straight through the wishbone. Need my bigger knife for that. There we go. Beautiful. 
Got a full breast here, and we'll take out this wishbone real quick. Half of the wishbone. All right, and we'll put this on our D-bone side. And then if anybody doesn't know, here's the uh, tender. That's where you get your chicken tender from, connect to the breast. So this will go on our full roaster meat over here for to chop up inside of our chicken pot pie. Just going at the other side now. <laughs> so much talent, my dull knives. Thank you, mom. Get through this wishbone. Okay. Second breast. Good to go. Someone says hello. You can't have this chicken. People are saying hi to you, buddy. All right, so we got our carcass here. All the meat is off of it. And we're gonna roast this and put it in our stock. So we'll put this on the roasting pan. Now we're gonna debone our leg here so we can use the meat for our stew. And we're just gonna run the knife down the bone and kind of carve around it. Just keep carving around our bone and it will come out. Michael, you're right. I should have sharpened my knives before I did this. <laughs> Thigh bone. And we got our full thigh here. Beautiful. I'll just kind of curl it up a little bit and roll it like you'd see it in the store just so that it has an even, more even cooking temperature to our breasts over here. Now I'll go at this next one. Our oven is preheated to 500. We're just gonna get these nice and brown, the bones nice and brown. And we'll put them in our stock. Add a lot of awesome flavor. So we're just carving close to the bone. Once I get a finger under there, I'll just separate it.
tell my knife is super dull because it's not going through the skin. Get out of here. find it easiest to get the last bit of meat away from the joint if you just fold the bones in half and then follow the bend. And there we go. Second bone. Caper is amazing. He wants some chicken. All right, so if we were breaking this down and using it, we got our, I don't know if you can see it. So we got two breasts, two thighs, two full wings. I'm leaving all the meat. I'm not gonna worry about taking the bones out of that and using the meat, because I'll just roast those and put them right in the stock pot. It's not worth me picking all that off of there. Give my hands a wash. All right, I'm gonna season these bones with a little bit of salt. And we'll throw them in the oven at 500 until they're nice and brown. All right, new cutting board. I'm gonna wait on this because this does not need to roast at 500. Once the bones are done, we'll lower it to like 350, season them up, and then roast them off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our stock mirepoix going. What do you think? Okay. So, this is what I had left over in my fridge. So we're gonna use it today. Cause this is the perfect meal for using stuff that you have left over. Um, so I've got some onion ends, half an onion, carrot piece. I'm not going to peel for the stock because it is very thin peel and they're clean and I don't care about leaving it on or not. So we'll leave it. Just going to chunk the onion carrot up. And this is just to flavor our stock. So mirepoix is celery, onion, carrot. We're gonna put that in there with some sprigs of thyme and the roasted chicken bones when they come out. And we'll bring it up to a simmer and let it rock and roll for at least 30 minutes. The longer you go, the better, but it'll get enough flavor in 30 minutes for us. The bear claw. <laughs> yes, that is how you don't cut yourself. All right, let's throw this into our pot. There we 
go ahead and turn the heat up on that. Also gonna put a few garlic cloves in the stock. Just gonna do two and I'll cut them in half. So we're straining all this obviously so the size of the veg doesn't really matter. I do do it smaller when I'm um, making a quick batch. Andrew, you love chicken pot pie too? I don't think I know anybody who doesn't like chicken pot pie honestly. So that's good. Um, yeah, if I'm doing a smaller or a quick batch of stock, I'll do smaller cuts so that the flavor gets in the water quickly. Okay, I'll throw a couple thyme sprigs in here. And we're good. Just let that roll. Waiting on our bones. Let me put a timer so I don't forget about those. Okay, let's get, um, I'm putting potatoes in my chicken pot pie. So I have a pot of cold water. I'm just gonna dice the potatoes up into that and then boil it to soften. Um, always start potatoes on cold. Rob, hello, hello, thanks for joining. Welcome. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> Do a small dice on these. Red potatoes. If anybody's just joining, we broke down our chicken and we have the bones in the oven roasting. Um, they're gonna get nice and brown for our stock. We have some garlic, onion, celery, carrot, thyme, and um, water on the stove starting to simmer for our stock as well. And we'll throw the bones in there when they're ready. And now we're dicing up. <laughs> yeah, cape. I don't know if he wants a piece of the action or a piece of whatever food I'm making. But he is in it. He is as close as he could get. So now I'm dicing some potatoes. We're gonna boil them until they're just tender. And they're gonna go in our mix for the chicken pot pie. You also can put the chicken bones in the stock um, without roasting them. I just think the roasting them adds like some extra flavor and it makes the process quicker because they're, they're cooked. So you don't have to wait for the chicken bones to cook through while um, 
your stock is simmering. Okay, cold water potatoes going over the stove. Get them up to a simmer. Bones are doing well. All right, let's get our veg cut and ready for the stewish part, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go with mirepoix again, onions, carrots, celery. Two stalks of celery. To actually, you know what we should do first? Actually, yeah, we should make the pie crust first so it has time to rest. Skirt, change of plans. Okay, pie crust. kid hello welcome thanks for the follow mom if you're watching I'm trying to find the top to this thing and you put my dishes away pretty sure that was in there when you came <laughs> can't find it Good. Never mind, Mom. <laughs> hey, Daydreamer. Hello, hello. I wish I could deliver them. I wish. Okay, so we're gonna make this in our food processor, so it's really easy. I need a cup and a quarter of flour, just all-purpose flour. See if I can fit all this in our tiny food processor here. One cup. Let me check those bones out. Oh yeah, they're looking good. A few more minutes. A few. More, oops, sorry. Cup and a quarter. Flour. And we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of salt, or like a pinch. I think it needs more than a quarter teaspoon, so we'll do like a half teaspoon. Salt. Let's go ahead and buzz that a little bit just to get it mixed together.
Okay. I just do song. Okay. <laughs> okay, we need a half cup of butter and a quarter cup of ice water. So, one stick of butter, and let's see, ice water. Or just really cold water, but we'll throw a cube in it, just to be safe. All right, got our butter here. I'm just gonna chunk it up a bit. Throw it in here. Make sure your butter is super cold. And the reason you use ice water or very cold water is so you don't melt your butter at all in here. And we're just gonna kind of pulse it a few times to get it incorporated. I think I'm gonna add a couple thyme leaves to this dough also. So we'll just do one sprig of thyme in here. Just the leaves. Maybe two. Let's do two. Okay, get out of here. I think that'll be good in there. All right, we're gonna pulse it till our butter is broken down throughout, but not totally, like, not disappeared, so it'll be like little, little tiny chunks. Should be good. We just have very small chunks of butter. See, here's one piece. It's all broken down. And then we need a quarter cup of ice water. And I'm gonna add like a half of it at a time because we may not need all of it or we may need all of it or maybe need more, but it just depends. So I'll do half of a quarter of a cup of the cold water. Buzz it again. And we're looking for this to like become one ball of dough. And then we'll stop when that happens with the water. Okay. I can hear our bones. Those are looking good. Just a few more minutes. Popping away in there. The rest of the quarter cup. Okay, I can hear it coming together because this little, large, little tiny food processor is struggling. So this is what we're looking for. Where it's still like in pieces, but when you ball it together, it holds together. That is perfect. So let me get this out of the way and we'll get some plastic wrap out and Toss it right onto that, then we can make it into a disc and let it chill for at least 30 minutes so it rests and gets cold and will roll out nicely. Oh no, I've lost the end of my plastic wrap. There it is, okay. That was almost terrible. Plastic wrap down. Okay. 
thyme smells really good in this. It's gonna be awesome with it. Okay. So we'll just make a nice little ball of our Our bones are done, I'll show you the bones. And we'll throw them in our stock pot. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Bones are nice and brown. So we're just gonna put those in our pot with our mirepoix. We get some tongs. And this is gonna add all the delicious chicken flavor we're looking for. All right. Super, super hot pan. Oh my gosh. Our potatoes are boiling, so let me check that. How long was a chicken oven? Okay, so Daydreamer, we have the oven at 500 degrees, and the chicken was in for about 20 minutes, but we're just looking for it to get brown, nothing else, because it's gonna, if it's not cooked all the way through, that's fine, because it's going into the um, stock pot and it's gonna boil in the water. So whatever, it'll get cooked in there. But we just want it to make sure it's brown. Okay, potatoes need some time. Oh my God. I almost pulled over. Take it easy, potatoes. Those just need a couple more minutes. Okay. Get our dough into a nice little ball here. This looks good. This is definitely what we're looking for. It's just starting to come together. There's still a few little butter pieces throughout that aren't all the way broken down, which is good. That means our dough didn't get too warm and it stayed, the butter stayed firm. So we just got this in a disc, wrap her up, and put it in the fridge until it's had time to rest, until we're ready for it. At least 30 minutes, but as long as it's firm, it's good to go. Okay, 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 okay. We can get our veg ready for the Pot pie now. We can also go ahead and season this chicken up. The rest of our chicken with some salt. And this is just the thighs and the breasts from earlier when we broke it down. And we'll get some pepper on it. And we're putting this in the oven at 350. I also want to get a little bit of olive oil on this skin. Uno minuto. <coughs> Just a little olive oil over our chicken. Some extra fat so it cooks nicely. Doesn't dry out too easily. All 
All right, going in. 350. All right. Let's get our veg cut up for our stew. Keep the onions and garlic separate so they can sweat and soften before we put everything else in. <laughs> Rob, I like all your emotes. <laughs> Just one small onion. Ten out of ten, woo! All right, you can do a small dice on this. The onion. <laughs> You can do this, Kim. I know you can. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my gosh, this onion is burning my eyeballs. Oh. I'll make it, it's okay. Impressive, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't see them anymore, they're too small. Too bad the emotes can't be bigger. Gosh, get out of here, onion. <laughs> My eyes. Cloves of garlic, small ones. Chop those up. That was a very strong onion. Oh my goodness. Small dice on your garlic, or mint, sorry. Okay. Now 
Now these I'm putting far away from me for later. I am gonna peel these carrots. Let's do the celery first. Small dice on the celery. Get our peeler. Peel our peeler. some carrot peel. You can have carrot peel. <laughs> okay, small dice on our carrot as well. Oh yeah, you need to watch that. Here, okay. There, he caught one. You need to watch it. Stop watching clips. So good. Good job. Some carrots. And we have frozen peas, of course. Go ahead and grab those. Oh, I gotta check my potatoes. Done. Potatoes are done. Kind of forgot about them, but that's okay. Just gonna Strain them and run some cold water over them to stop the cooking. Because they might have been on a touch too long, but that's okay. Ew, peas. I don't like peas. My sister doesn't like peas either. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> God again. Um, I don't know. Where else can I watch it? I don't know. There's got to be some other way to watch it. Potatoes are drained and cold. Get 
get some stuff out of my way over here. Wash my hands up a little bit. All right, excuse me, Capes. You have a carrot on your back. How'd you do that? Chicken's looking pretty good in there. Just resubscribe for like a month, watch the show, and then cancel it. <laughs> They have to go in chicken pot pie, right? It just wouldn't be the same. Wouldn't be the same without them. Go get those. For some reason, I feel like I'm gonna forget them. So we can go ahead and sweat. Yeah, they just kind of hide out in the pot pie, but they gotta be there. We can go ahead and sweat our. Um, onions and garlic so we got a pan over here where we're gonna put all of our stuff in for our pot pie filling I'm gonna do olive oil and butter combo for this keep the oven closed let's cook everything what's up what's up what's up Evan was yelling at me today to close the oven. That's all you said to me. Y'all go check out Let's Cook Everything. He's awesome. Um, he's a lot more entertaining than me, so there's that. But go give him a follow, check him out. It's good stuff. <laughs> All right, butter, oil in the pan. Evan, what are you making tonight? What you making tonight? Oh, it's, wait, what's today, Thursday? Is it tips and tricks tonight for you? Chicken is going in the pot pie. No, and, uh, I broke down my chicken. I'm making the stock he suggested. There is carrots, onion, celery. Ooh, crab cakes. Hash and hollandaise. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Sounds delicious. DJ Tortilla. Oh my gosh, that's the best name ever. DJ Tortilla. Learning mother sauce. Yeah, so it's tips and tricks tonight, right? Yeah, I think. Okay, pan is warm. I'm gonna throw our onions, garlic, and pepper is spotted. Yes, he is. He's been hanging out a lot. He got a lot of carrot treats tonight. Just gonna get our onions and garlic in here, get them sweated down, sweat down, sweated. I don't know if that's the proper word, but. And we're always gonna put salt in right away so our vegetables start to release the liquid and hence sweat. I'm not really sure what that question means. Do I know how to burp? Pretty sure I do. Pretty sure, DJ Tortilla. All right, while those are starting, I'm gonna go ahead and get some time, a little bit more. 
No, I can't burp your name. Sorry. Cannot. Get some thyme leaves in with our, um, that was a very strange question. With our onions and garlic. Chocolate sauce, ketchup, ranch, barbecue, and cheese sauce. Yes, you're totally right, Daydreamer. <laughs> America's mother sauces. <laughs> All right, that'll do. I'm just going to run my knife through this and break it down a bit. And I'm putting these in early because they're um, the time in early because it's more of a hearty herb. It's a little more woody and tough, so it'll give it time to break down a little bit. If we use something that's a little more fine, like, or soft, like basil or something like that, I would put it in at the end, because if you put it in early, it'll just lose all its flavor anyways. Time will hold out and be, I personally think, better though, if it goes in now. See how our chicken breasts are doing. Looking good. A little bit more time. I'm gonna give our stock a taste here. It's been on for about 45 minutes, I'd say. So for a quick stock, it might be good to go. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. I can definitely taste all the, the mirepoix and the chicken in there. That's all we're looking for. Yeah, so that's ready when we are. So we can keep cruising capes, huh? All right, our veggies are sweating out over here. Looking good. Chicken's looking good. I think I want that skin to brown a bit more. So, I'm just gonna turn the oven up. Just for a minute. Or a few minutes, just to get the skin on the chicken breast brown and the thighs. So we are gonna use the liquid from the oil and the butter, or the fat I guess, and all of our veggies cooking down with some flour to make a roux. And then we're going to put our stock in, and that's going to be like the base of our pot pie. So I've just, the onion and garlic has sweat down, and I put the celery and carrots in, so I'm going to give those a minute to cook. Smells delicious. All right, 
right, so we're going to use this. Get it over here. Check on the pie crust and see if it is firm and rested. I think it's pretty good. So we can go ahead and clean our countertop off a little bit and get ready to roll this dough out. And like I said before, I'm not gonna make like an actual pie pie. I'm just gonna cut little rounds of pie crust and cook them in the oven separately. I like to, I like to have it separate, so it's kind of like a cracker that you mix in when you want it or not. Because otherwise, you know, some of the pie crust on the bottom gets isn't as crispy as you want it. And I don't know, I just like. I like doing it this way. Is that a toast? Is that a pizza roll? It looks like a pizza roll with eyes. All right, let's get a little flour down. Chicken is very close to being done. <laughs> it is a pizza roll. All right, we're gonna get both sides of this floured so it doesn't stick. And get my roller. I also need a pan. on my pants. No, it's okay. We can use this one from the chicken bones. Just give it a wipe and put some more parchment down. It'll be good to go. Got stuck to another, another handle, Michael. Over here. Sucker rolled out. Chicken. All right, chicken is good. Chicken's looking golden and delicious. Gonna let this cool so it's handleable and I'll chop it up for our filling. Okay. All right, we don't want this to get too warm before we cut it because it'll be very hard to handle, so. Start paying attention, working faster. <laughs> Oops, I guess I didn't turn the timer. Oopsies. All 
All right. Not too thin, not too thick. Got like a quarter inch, quarter inch over here. Get a cutter. And an offset spatula. Help us pick it up. If we need it. No, oh, looks like so. All right. That's about how thick it is. Little pie crust toppers, crackers, whatever you want to call them. We can probably do one re-roll on this, but we don't want to do too much more, otherwise those little butter pieces we have will melt down and not serve their purpose. individual pot pies but um so I usually don't actually make the pie like as far as pie crust on the bottom and pie crust on the top I'll just do little pie crust crackers or whatever you want to call them and use them like little toppers they're cute that way you get as much or as little crust as you want and they're all crispy there's no like soggy crust or anything like that I'm gonna get a little bit, I'm using heavy cream later just to finish off our uh, filling. So I'm gonna use that as our, to brush our pie crust with instead of like an egg wash just cause I already have it out. And it'll work just as well. So we'll give these a brush. Oh, hey girl. Everybody can meet Olive now. Hey girl. She's being nosy. I'm gonna poke these a few times so they don't puff up too much. Actually, I'm only gonna do a few. We'll see the difference when they come out. Cause I'm fine with them puffing up a little bit. Let's do a few like that. Yeah, I mean, traditional pie would make sense, right? That would make more sense than what I'm doing. But this is just a little simpler and, and it stores more easily. I can keep the crust separate. Olive, Allie says hi. I think she's down here because I cracked the back door. Her dreams of escaping. Yeah, exactly. Yep, you got it right, Daydreamer. I'll have the the filling in a bowl, like a like a stew kind of, and then the little pie crust crackers on top. But yeah, like I was saying, it stores easier. You can store the the stew, the filling part separately and the pie crust like in a zip top bag and you don't you can reheat them just separately or not reheat the pie crust at all either way and then you won't have any soggy pie crust when you reheat your chicken pot pie thank you
So our veggies are ready for our flour, so we'll just take a look at that before we finish the pie crust. So it's all sweat down, nice and soft. We're just gonna add enough flour to absorb whatever fat is left, like you would a roux. So it should take about two-ish tablespoons. Tiny bit more. It's like about two and a half tablespoons. Just want it to tighten up all that fat around our veggies. And we're gonna toast this a bit so our flour gets cooked. It doesn't taste like raw flour. And then we'll just ladle in our stock, the base. First again. <laughs> Carb lot, yeah. She's a wild one. She'll probably win. She had to. I'm throwing our pie crust in, 350. Shouldn't take long. I'm gonna put a timer for six minutes and we'll give it a check. Now if this is cool enough, yep. We can bring this over and chop it up in a second. You don't want to leave this flour alone for too long because it will burn quickly. You want it to toast, not burn. It's important. But this will um, thicken up our stock when we put it in and create that nice creamy filling we like in pot pies. I'm just gonna grab a ladle. Okay, so I think that is cooked enough. It's starting to brown a bit, which is good. And the flour smells like toasted now. It doesn't smell like raw flour. So we're good. I'm just gonna ladle some stock in. Try not to get anything. Sorry, that was probably loud. All right, so it's gonna tighten up right away. We'll just keep adding stock till we get to the consistency we like. And if you're doing this with store-bought stock, which is fine, um, make sure you heat it up first. So that way you're seeing it thicken right away instead of waiting for the stock to get hot and then thicken. That way you might you might get it off a little bit and you would make it too thin or too thick accidentally. So that is at a good spot. It's gonna thicken up some more. We may need to add some more stock, but I'm gonna chop up the chicken and go ahead and get it in here. So our flavors start to come together. I'm leaving the skins on also because I love the skin. It just adds more flavor.
Smells good, huh? Ginger babe, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Still kind of hot. Chicken looks good. Really, buddy? Seriously, caper back up, boy. Chicken must be good. Right, throw this in here. Clear off my cutting board. Might not need these thighs. Yeah, I don't think, let's go check it out. So I don't think we need those thighs. We'll use it for something else. <laughs> yeah, he wants to eat it, but he's pretty good. So we got, I think we have enough chicken in here. If I put the thighs in too, it'll be way too chickeny. So let's go with that. We'll save the thighs for something else. Get our potatoes in. Our cooked potatoes. And we can't forget our frozen peas. Allie, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Turn our heat back a bit because I'm putting frozen peas in here so it's gonna cool everything down. So we'll just get those heated up and get everything else hot. And we haven't really salted a lot of this so we're gonna give it a taste and see how we're looking. And let's just throw our cream to finish just a bit. Probably about a quarter cup. That will get hot as well. Push my hands up. All right. Just enough space in this pot. <laughs> okay, so I think this is a good filling to uh, liquid ratio. It's not too thin, not too thick, not too soupy. Looks good to me. Check on our pie crust. They're getting there. A couple more minutes. All right, let's give this a taste. See where we're at with salt. Mmm. That is delicious. It does need a little bit of salt, though.
looking good. We're just gonna wait for it to get hot again. Should take just a minute. Oh, that's delicious. Holy moly, that's good. Holy moly, that's good. Better than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let me get some stuff out of the way here. We're waiting on our pie crust. Did you pre, yes, I did pre-cook the potatoes. 100 bits for holy moly, thank you, Michael. Um, yeah, we pre-cooked them just till they were tender, not mushy, um, cause we're just really heating this through now so it wouldn't have enough time to cook in there. So I'm pretty sure if you made it in the pie form, it would have enough time because you have to wait for the pie crust to cook and everything. Um, I don't know, if, are potatoes a normal thing in chicken pot pie? I'm not sure. I always put it in mine, but I have no idea if it's like a standard ingredient. All right, we're getting hot here. down a bit so we don't burn it. Check out. Oh yeah, these are looking good. Oh, probably two more minutes. Maybe three, let's do three. So we are just waiting on that. Put some stuff away real quick. Excuse me, caper. I don't remember either. I don't actually remember making pot pie in culinary school. Not sure. Ooh, maybe I'll make chicken salad tomorrow with these thighs. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Okay, I just want these to get a little more brown. Give this one more taste for good measure. See if our peas are thawed. Yep, spot on. That's good stuff. It's good stuff. Thank you, let's cook everything. Um, 
Are you getting on soon? We'll rage you in a minute. We're almost done. Thanks for coming by. Get this out of the way. Watch out, buddy. Yeah! Kim, thank you for the 200 bits. Appreciate it. so long. One more minute. And they should be done. Keywords should be. I just want them to get a little more brown. Gives me time to clean up so I can eat right when we get off of here. Pillsbury Doughboy, maybe? Or is it like the Michelin Man? Oh yeah, there we go. They are ready, people, they are ready. Beautiful. Watch out, Cape, it's hot. So I cheated and put the broiler on to make these brown, but I think they're beautiful. All right, let's make some, I'm gonna put it in this small bowl because I think it fits. in the bowl. I guess you could consider this like an individual pot pie. Which one do I like the best? This one. Little pot pie. So this was from scratch, from scratch. We made the stock, broke down the chicken, everything. So this is really some high class chicken pot pie right here. High class. Let's move this out of the way. stay. All right, there you have it. <laughs> Our mini pot pies. Individual pie, pot pies without the pie. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if we can call it that. It's a little extra. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the follows and the bits. Let's find someone to raid. I wonder if Evan's on yet. Yes, I think he is. He is, all right, let's go. Let's go see Evan at Let's Cook Everything. See you guys soon. Sweet, thank you, Daydreamer.
All right, y'all. See you later. We're making some Christmas cookies soon. I don't know when, but soon. And we'll see you then. Goodbye.